All right, what's going on y'all? We just got out to the place where we have permission to dove hunt, first hunt of the year. I'm out here with Nate. So excited to be back. It's awesome to be in Texas. It's been, how long has it been since you've dove hunted in Texas? Probably three years. Dang. Yeah, I'm, I'm itching at the bit right now. You got a new oh. shotgun, new Beretta. New Beretta, excited to, to break it in. Went to the went to the range and got some, some clay shooting in and felt pretty good, but the dove are a, a different game. They don't move and dip and dive and duck. But I, I can tell you're excited because literally we pulled up and we saw some doves flying those mosquitoes and he went running after them. <laughs> Without a doubt. We're going to go ahead and they got a bunch of rain last night, but you can probably tell other than that, man, it's been so dry out here. So we're going to go sit on a pond that y'all have probably seen other videos of us hunting on that same pond. It's been a pretty traditionally good spot for us. It was kind of late. It's four o'clock, so it's time to get out there. Let's, hopefully it'll happen. Let's get it done. Cool. So this used to all be in the pond and it's just this drought man has been bad but I think it'll be a good little spot to sit tonight. All right little buddy do your thing. So I'm gonna sit, there's all these thick weeds. It's muddy, I don't wanna be too far down in there. I'm gonna sit at this one little willow. Looks like Nate's going up there on that kind of rocky edge. We'll just see what's happening. Well, I think this will be a decent spot right at the end of the night, but they're not really on the pattern coming into water yet. So I'm gonna go poke around in these mesquites. I've seen some darting in mesquites on the other side, so I bet you there's some in here too. So I'm gonna go see if I can walk some up. Looks like we've got a storm coming in. Well, I did that whole loop. Good to walk around and take a look, because otherwise I know I'd just be wondering what was there. But never saw any doves, saw a bunch of this little swallows and meadow larks and stuff like that but I'm gonna go ahead back to the pond I'm pretty sure I saw a jackrabbit running by but it was a ways out probably 80 90 yards well out of shotgun range but I don't know if I really want one when it's this hot anyway but I'm gonna head back to the pond see what's happening there well I was walking back to my spot one popped up out of these weeds I shot it and it crashed down in here in all this muck somewhere. Goodness. Where is he? Hopefully I can see it before I walk all through there. Long story short, I fumbled that one. No, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> well, while I was stomping around in the swamp looking for that one bird, another one fly right over the top of me. <laughs> it would have been an easy shot. But I was looking down, not looking up. And Nate went over to the next field, said he sees a bunch over there, but it's too big for one person to move in on. So we're gonna try to go cut them off. I'm hiking over there now. All right, I am finally on the board. Took a long time to get that first one, but I saw some more down by the creek. All the birds that I've been seeing have just been onesie twosies, which means I'm pretty sure they're just local birds. But at the other end of this field, out here, I just saw a group of probably 20. So that's probably a migrating group that those are always the hardest ones to walk up on, but I'm gonna go see if I can get closer and at least peel a couple off of it. Alrighty, starting to turn it around. Bird number three in the bag. Still got an hour and a half and I think I figured out where they are now. They're all in this field. Would you look at that, this big one? That's a Eurasian collared dove. They're quite a bit bigger and it doesn't count towards your limit. Pretty cool. Okay, La Paloma numero cinco. I was looking down at my phone, I looked up and that one happened to fly right over the top of me. I dropped my phone and popped it. That's why you should stay off your phone. 
Here goes one. Come on, come back around. Here's another one. Oh, there's one. All right, buddy. I almost could have caught you. All right, number eight. I just saw a whole bunch of birds zip through here, so I'm gonna hang out here for a bit. Well, right at this little evening pattern, I keep seeing birds. There goes another one. And you know, they're 60, 70 yards away from me, so I'm in the right area. I just gotta find the sweet spot here. Well, I don't know if that's because I've actually shot a little bit this year or that was luck, but I just hit that one at 65, 70 yards. He's way out here. All right, buddy. I think I need another count. I think we're at nine, but I think that nine includes that Eurasian. So I think that's actually eight, but that one was way out there, but they're still moving. So I'm gonna get back out there. That dude was a high flyer and he hit the ground hard. You can tell when they bounce and leave a bunch of feathers like that. Got him right in the chest. Nice. I think that's nine or ten. All right, got another one in here. That was a pretty good long shot. Beautiful sunset. I'm thankful for these little birds. I just saw one fly by and then a puff of feathers. And then Nate got just like a perfect shot. Clean kill on that bird. Just love it. Y'all, I cannot get enough of these West Texas sunsets. This is just gorgeous. Texas is just a special place. And the storms get a little crazy, but you get rewarded with a a great treat at the end. Shot the butt off of that one. Must have lost two. Or whatever. That's okay. But I mean that's for, more than for as onesie enough. twosie as they were for a while. Yeah. I got eight and then ten plus the Eurasian. So if you're not familiar with it, this is a Eurasian collar dove. Look at that compared to a morning dove. Now this is, you see the speckles? This is a young bird. This is a first year bird. But young morning dove, this is a more normal size morning dove. But then this Eurasian, he's at least 50% bigger. It's like almost pigeon size. But you can actually, if you leave this one plumed, then it doesn't count to your limit. If, if you clean them, then they can't tell the difference and it counts towards your limit. Good job, man. Yeah, man, that was awesome. I loved it. All right, ready for day two. This is our little camp from last night. I was in the hammock, Nate was in the tent. I think today we're gonna go to that field where I was yesterday. We've seen him in there and I think it'll be a good spot for two people. Ready? Ah! <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Why? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, this is basically where I was for a little while yesterday. And then, there's that big pecan tree over there. That's kind of where they're passing through over that creek where I was getting a lot of shots off at the end of the day. So Nate set up there, hopefully that's a good spot. All right, got one bird in the bag. And while I was picking that up, a whole bunch went by Nate. And he got a lot of shots, so I think we're in the right spot. We have two birds in the bag. I'm not doing well this morning at all. Oh, hold on. 
not a death. I've also had a lot of gun issues. It's just like, I get the first shot and then nothing on the second. So, I need to clean this thing. Well, that worked out. I just had two young birds flying right at the decoys and boom, boom, one, two, dropped them both. I like it when it works like that. What? Yeah. Dude, I thought you were slaying them. No, I was missing a bunch of them because they were coming over my head. I had... That's how I felt. I had about five minutes of craziness. Yeah. That was about it. Yeah, there was like at one point, it was like right between us. Yep. There was like a flock just swirling. Just chillaxing. Got some, some watermelon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Good old cold bitch melon. Mm-hmm. Just chilling. See, this is the part that the hunting's good, but just getting out and hanging loose. That's pretty good too. It really is. Just thankful to get outside, man. You good? All right, we're gonna make a little lunch. Just got a little fire going, some mesquite we picked up off the ground. Then duck breasts, these are gadwalls that actually shot out here. And then a little bit of nilgai steak. So, pretty good meat to do some camp cooking. Mm -hmm. We just don't have plates or forks. <laughs> or we're just improvising, but we got, we got good meat. <laughs> we got teeth and fingers. <laughs> Honestly, we might want to do that with this meat too. Just throw it in some grease. Okay. Ooh. I just got an eyeful of smoke. Just deglazing the pan a little bit and uh, adding some TX whiskey to it. Trying to little, get a little sauce for a wild game. Morning time? Yep. This far. Being pinched right here. I forgot my mojos, but right, honestly, if you want one, or, okay, I guess if he's running back, yeah, I'll grab, grab some. Okay, they're yeah. in there in the bed of the truck. Honestly, I didn't kill a single one over a mojo yesterday. I killed oh, really? them all just passing. Really? Yeah. All right, well, we got Kyle. Kyle's joining us for this evening hunt. Yeah, first hunt of the year for me. Can't wait. All right. Oh. Oof. Well, grab the mojos if you see them. If not, not a big deal either way. Okay, and so where are you going, Kyle? I don't know. Okay. What, what are you thinking? Well, that was super cool. Kyle and I are getting set up. Group of four came smoking in right at us. I got mine, he got his. Yeah. Water usually is. Nice. Hey, yo. Well done. Number one. So this is kind of that spot I walked through last night. And it looked pretty good. I brought my chair and stuff, but I'm probably just gonna stand in this little opening and they're kind of squirting through here. So I'm just gonna see what I can see. Got another one for the night. Sitting by a bunch of decoys is good. It works very well. But man, this is probably my favorite type of dove hunting. I've just been, ever since I was a little kid doing this, I've always just been restless and just want to shake tree lines, bounce around, see where you can find them. So this, this is all right by me. And places like this where you have a creek, it's a natural line of sight that they like to fly, a power line that's another like to, line of sight that they like to fly, and a fence line that's another line of sight that they like to fly. This is just going to be a good little alley right here. Kyle also gave me this chair a couple years ago. Man, this thing's great for this sort of stuff. It's not the most comfortable, and if you're a big old boy, it's probably not gonna do the trick, but it's light and simple. So I don't mind lugging it at all. Oh, those are my favorite when they're coming right at you and you shoot them at 20 yards. Toasted that one.
The scissor tails always look like doves for the first couple wing beats, but you just gotta keep watching them. Cause you don't wanna shoot those things. And I need to move up a little bit. There's a bunch right there. One came zipping by me real quick. Man. I know I hit it because I saw it splash in the water down here. There it is. We may be getting another storm, but either way, these clouds are pretty incredible. All right, just got another one. Getting close to a limit here. Getting close, but these storms are looking kind of intense. There's a, a dove sitting in that tree. I did lose one bird, unfortunately. I dropped it somewhere down in those trees and walked around for a while, but couldn't find it. That's I had effective. a lot of gimmies today. <laughs> they came into the decoys like crazy. Well, so that's why we bring them. Yep. Definitely uh, made the shooting a little easier. And this is such a, like, it seems like a bizarre place to hunt. But then yeah. when you really think about it, yeah. okay, they've got sand and gravel in here. They've got food in that field across the way. Water. They've got cover. They've got yep. water. Lots of dust. Everything's here. So there's not any, like... You don't have to go too far. Exact destination, but they're just kind of bumping around all in here. What do I need? Go to the next spot. Yep. Sit and perch for a minute. Go out and get some seeds. Get some gravel. Get some water. Get some perch. Making the rounds. Makes it easy for us. Makes it fun because they're coming from all over. <laughs> Be like heads on a swivel for sure. To get my chair so I could sit in the oh yeah. In the grass and like have like a little bit better like stand up versus just like yep. and so that's when I took my spill and I was like, ah, oh, let me go ahead and just like <laughs> fix this little finger deal. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be fine, but it's on my trigger finger, so I know I'm gonna move it a lot. Nope, we're gonna have to amputate. I got the open hand now to fix my backpack. The storm's rolling in. It's a little windy. A little. It's starting to crack <laughs> up. But tried to tack that down as best we could, take down the hammock. But Let's see. Are we pull on? I think we're gonna go run into town and hide and get some Mexican food. Hopefully that doesn't seem much worse. That is a good night. You got a good pile of birds, gentlemen. sit total. This is our second morning. I was right down there earlier with this field. It seems like I needed to be either further in one of the corners. I was in a good spot, but this may be a slight improvement on that. But with three guys in this big field, somebody down there Basically where Nate was yesterday and then something in that very far corner. I think we can get them pushed around a little bit better.
course there's a bunch of doves flying around in these trees as soon as we decide to put it up that's how it always goes right well i had a blast we got out here enjoyed just getting out of town spending some time out west our very first day was pretty decent day not not great not gangbusters but not bad either well i think i got what was it 10 the first day yeah it was nine plus that eurasian so 10 birds the first day and then we all limited the second day throughout the day it you know it took the full day but we got it so that was great and then today was pretty slow but you're not always going to have three days that are above average so i think between limiting one day having an okay day and having a slow day it all worked out now i'm just thankful to be able to get out here and enjoy this kind of stuff because this this is what got me into hunting guns camping all of this kind of stuff going out camping with boy scouts or going out dove hunting with my dad so it got me fired up about all of this so hopefully you guys can get out there and enjoy some of this as well even if you just go camping go riding around on an atv heck just go out and go shoot guns for a little while after we got done hunting we went out and just shot pistols and just get out and doing that it's a bunch of fun so hope you can enjoy it stay safe be free and never stop seeking adventure